Hi there, my name's Kirsten. I'm with Mackenzie Public Library, and today I'm going to be walking you through the Narwhal Puppet Craft. So for this craft today, we'll be in need of a piece of blue construction paper, a piece of white paper, which is just from like a printer, uh, a pair of scissors, we're going to be doing some cutting today, a glue stick, because we're going to glue stuff back together, and a marker. We're going to be marking some stuff down. And finally, a popsicle stick. That'll come into play when we do the puppet part. Alrighty, so to start, we're going to fold our blue construction paper lengthwise. So, like a hot dog. Make sure we crease the folded sides so that we get a nice, firm crease. And then we're going to open back up and fold it the other way. Once again, making a crease in that folded side. After that, we are going to pull slash rip or cut down the middle. We're only going to need about half of this so you can make a buddy for your little narwhal friend. Next, we're going to cut out our long triangle. You can do this at any part of the white piece of paper, just make sure you don't use up too much. Then we're going to fold our white piece of paper and we're going to use it to make our eyes for our little narwhal buddy. Been, like we have been we're just gonna cut them out our eyes might be a little wonky but that's okay then we're gonna draw whatever type of eyes we want I went with the more anime cutesy eyes for my own but that's up to you guys what you want to go with now we're finally gonna roll up our narwhal horn so we're gonna start from one end and we're gonna just roll it on up before we close it up though we're gonna add some glue just to help keep it sealed shut once we do roll it all the way. And there's our narwhal horn. Next, we're gonna take our blue sheet of paper and roll it down to the other end. We're gonna leave some space on the end for doing our tail. This is more or less to mark where our tail is gonna be. Once we're certain where we want it to hold, we're gonna mark it with our pencil or marker, whichever we've been using. And from there, we're going to go from the top corners and we're going to curve in and around down to those markers that we put in for ourselves. We're going to do it on both sides. And then we're going to go from the corner inward to the center and then back out again to the other corner. And that's going to create our fin. Now it's time to cut out our fin. Just make sure you're following your lines and make sure to be careful with your pair of scissors, guys. Finally, we're gonna flip over our paper and add glue to the end that we're gonna roll up. Next, we'll flip it back over and we'll roll it on down. See, then we're gonna place it and we're gonna push our glue down so that our our circle holds because that's our our narwhal wall's head. And there he is. So now it's time to put it all together. I personally started with my eyes, so it's not a big deal where you start, but it's a good idea to get them on before much. Next, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to place a very small cut at the very top of it. This is for our narwhal horn. We're going to stick that right in. We don't want it too big or too small, because if it's too big, our narwhal horn isn't going to hold there like it's supposed to. Just like that. And finally, we're going to add glue to the popsicle stick. And then place our narwhal on top of them. And we're going to make sure that glue holds into place. And there you go, we have our little narwhal buddy, ready for whatever performance he's going to be part of.